hello everyone in our today's video i'm gonna show you how you can grab this uber application code from the github and then you can run each and everything within your own local environment and i also show you how you can grab that google maps api key and run everything within your project previously i have been done this entire project within this video on how to build an uber clone using react native and expo uh, but uh, so many people you are asking that if you can have the source code so i made this video to provide you the source code and also to show you the way by which you can just go and make a shortcut and grab everything and run this project locally within your own machine and to have that and previously i'm saying that there is a lot of others video i have the chat gpt clone i have this uh, e-commerce and the portfolio there's a lot of things happening you can just go and uh, feel free to view the playlist around and you can find which is be very much helpful for you the amazon 2.0 super gear e-commerce and there is a a lot of playlists here which can really help you if you want to become one of the full stack developer or fountain or backend developer and feel free to knock me if you have anything in the comments and please do subscribe and like the like and comment so that it can reach so many people and it can be helpful for others also and to have that that links it will be in the description below the full video link and also that github link and what you need to do first you need to have github installed in your machine and also so you need to have several things first just uh, let you i'm gonna give you an idea about that what you need to have you need to have that first that note okay sorry it should be i need to close that should be i need to type that note v so it will be note dash v so you need to install that note in your local machine and also you need to have that uh git install in your local machine otherwise it will not work so if you have everything within install then you are good to go so what i'm gonna do also it can do the same thing i'm gonna grab an mp directory as you see i have yt build directory is empty already so i'm gonna just open it within my uh terminal and now from here i'm gonna copy this there is uh, so many other way you can go and clone it with https and ssh key and github a common line with the cli but it's a very easy way to just copy that code https code and then let's come over here and there is one slight combination here what you can say one git clone command which will help you to clone everything from that particular repo link i hit enter and now it's cloning so after cloning like if i put ls you're gonna see uber clone app is already uh, cloned let's put cd into uber clone app i need to just go within this application then i'm gonna run is that code space dot if you don't want to run that you can also go directly here and you can open that within your uh, visual studio code or whatever the code editor you are using so i'm gonna just hit enter now as you see it's already cloned each and everything so i will just open the terminal from here and from the terminal now there is one more things you need to do i use the npm either you can use the yearn or pnpm if you are just installed node by default the npm it will be available within your terminal so what i need to do is that you see that package.json i need to install all of these packages to run my application first so what i'm gonna do npm install so it will install all the dependencies is available here especially that expo expo constants every each and everything from the dependencies to dev dependencies it's gonna install everything and after that we're gonna grab it so while it's installing we need one more things also if you just go and fetch that config.ts we need to grab that google api key because whenever we're gonna type something it gonna provide the map method so first let's run it npm start so if i run that command it will start the expo formation so you can either go with that there is a so many way you can open it you can go with that qr code you can open with just running uh, connect your new uh, your own phone if you're just uh, uh, getting that expo app within your application within your phone actually so now i'm going to run within my simulator which is ios so put i and now it will start with the same parameter but one more thing is required is that that google api key because without that api key you will not be able to get the map functionality so we need to grab that api key from google and how we can do that 
and to do that we first need to go within our application we need to create a google application then we can fetch that api key so this is is running from my local host as you see it's just uh, working smoothly in ios i will run it also in my android you will see it will also work perfectly if i just search any of the city the search in london see nothing is coming because there is no suggestion is coming from that google api key so what i need to do i will just search for uh google it will be what do you say it will be google cloud console and from here i will just go within that console.cloud.google.com and from here i will change my account i'm gonna use my account where i have my credit by which i can go through that so to go and be accessible on that particular things you can check over here that billing section you need to add a new card here but i'm gonna show you in a very easy way so i will create a new project okay i'm gonna create a new project and here i'm gonna give a name of that let's say over over yt i think it will be okay so let's create and after as you see it's creating so after creating the application i need to go within this application now i have a different app running as tour planner but if i just click on it as you see over yt is created and it's done so i will change the directory means i will change my app so now as you see i already configured that so i have my balance if i go in my billing i have uh, putting my card here so by default you're gonna get around 300 dollars free from the firebase so that's the credit that's the trial credit i'm using is still i have 62 days remaining so what i need to do is that to get my api key and how i'm gonna get that so let's just grab that one so i will choose that from the section api and services i will just go with enable api and services so i can find this uh solution over here let's just appear okay now i'm gonna go with enable apis and services okay so now as you see there is a lot of api whatever the api is available is just coming over here so now i need to go to grab that some particular api which will help me to grab the things directly fetch from that google api so first we need to grab our direction api so let's just grab that direction api hit search and then that's the one we need so click on it and after clicking we need to enable it enable so now our direction api is enabled so what we need to do we need to enable two more api which will be the places api and the distant matrix so direction gonna provide us the direction and then the places api going to find all the places where we're gonna go and from start and end and then the distant matrix going to be help us to calculate the distance and other properties so now uh, okay as you see that's the your api key i need to you need to copy that api key then go over here and then just paste it here okay so after having this portion okay i will just go with that go to google maps platform and then this one i will just put that maybe later and after that and don't try to use that key because it will not work with you i'm gonna disable that one after uh, before publishing this application uh, or the video so now as you see uh enables api if i click on that all the api should be enables okay so i'm gonna just go and preview the api if uh, okay explore okay so let's just going to hit and complete profile enables api let's just go and check which over the api i need to enable I think if you click on that all the api should be enabled directly okay so let's just go and preview that okay places stk cool so let's go again in the api and services and now we're gonna just go over here you see we have several api so now from here we have uh whatever we need is that we also need that street view not require we need that places api so i'm gonna make it is already enabled you see the geolocation api so which is related to the others api like uh, for the maps api is already enabled you see now places is it's a new one i need that this one so it's already enabled and also the direction enabled and i need one more distant matrix api which is enabled so means my api is enabled now if i go over here and before entering i'm gonna just hit reload as it's just going to fetch the api from there now i'm gonna search a location london as you see 
I'm getting that destination parameter. Okay, so get it right. And after getting it right, now I'm here in the London. So I can now, if I make another destination, let's put that uh, London Bridge. Okay, so now if I just place hit it there, and as you see, I'm getting the destination now I can choose my rider and then I can have is good to go so as it is working for the iOS it's gonna also working for the Android okay that's where I'm running my Android devices and also is running in the Android now from here also if I just uh, make that uh, statue of Liberty okay let's search there of Liberty uh, what's wrong is it uh, yeah it's just taking a bit of time but it will take the hit so from here if i just go and get it right from there i think it's also both going to be with the same parameter by which is working for that ios and now from there i'm gonna just go hit the road on the new york new york and done and you see it's going to provide the scenario and it's going to show uh, us the road how we can go and how to fetch so each and everything going to work perfectly in both for the ios and android feel free to go to watch the video if you want to learn each and everything from the beginning or if you just want to have a uh, just uh, be a good practice to give it a try and having a demo alternative you can just clone this application and then run this project and if you having any issue to running this project in your local machine then let me know in the comments below i will try to help you with that scenario and feel free to comment if you are is helping you and like the video and subscribe please so that's what you can have this with this entire video try to figure out that api key and make these things to happen to have your own uh, api to get it at uber clone so all the best hope you can do it we'll see you in another video